Pam and I went to see the pantomime Dick Winston in Bridport. I've always enjoyed pantomimes, and this has to be no exception. It was great to see the little children of three and four years old on the stage, trying to remember their down steps, while watching each other to remind themselves what they should be doing. In the audience were Cub Scouts, Brownies and children of a similar age, highly excited and full of chat. The fun and excitement was contagious and soon parents and grandparents and all the audience were shouting along with the children. The children were living the story and we the adults were transported back to our childhood where everything was totally possible. I thought what a shame we all had to grow up and face the realities of life in a world where we question everything and disbelieve most of it. And I finally realised what was meant by verse 3, chapter 18, in the Gospel of Matthew, where I read, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. It means that I should believe without question, as a small child does. And that leads me nicely into my next poem, which is called Have Faith. I go to church each Sunday knowing when I leave I'll feel a love of life and living and an inner peace that's real. A friend to all my neighbours, everyone I meet. My heart is full of happiness, a light step in my feet. Religious faith is difficult, believe it all the time. Through good and evil, thick and thin, rain and storm and shine. Believe the Bible, we are told, with heart and mind and soul. The vicar tells us, do these things to make your body whole. And so I read my Bible to see what God would do, hoping for an answer that would help my whole life through. Would God love his enemies and turn the other cheek? Would those who inherit the earth really be the meek? So I turn the pages one by one, and as I move along, all my dreams are shattered, all my hopes for peace are gone. The Lord my God is a jealous God, and throughout every nation he will visit the sins of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation. My mind remembers conflicts, mainly the last two wars. If we had turned the other cheek and stayed upon our shores, our whole world turned upside down if, this, if that's how we behave and all of us within this land would now be Hitler's slaves. This clashes so decisively with everything I'm taught. It leaves me wondering, I'm frightened, frail and fraught. I read and read and more I read, increase are my fears. The world has never ever changed in many thousand years. The only thing that I can do is help others all I can. But if my country needs me, then stand up like a man. If the call should come for me, I'll not leave them in the lurch. But meanwhile, I will follow the teachings of my church. I turn back to my Bible and try to understand the many stories written there and what the Lord has planned. I see the beauty in the world where each of us belong. Once more I get that inner peace, my faith is twice as strong. I go to church each Sunday and pray with all my might and hope the Lord will hear me and help me do what's right. I'll clear my mind and listen to hear what God will say and if I do, perhaps I'll find that God will show the way. I know the Lord has shown me how I can do what's right. I learnt it from the pantomime when I went the other night.